parce que hello uh, everybody uh, it's Anthony from Backend Master Studio and uh, today I'm working on a multiplayer uh, game so the objective is to understand uh, how you net uh, working is working and uh, to convert it to playmaker so at the first time I just followed the tutorial from Unity Docs uh, which is pretty simple it works with a simple script uh, so you can follow it easily uh, then uh, I uh, have the script here and my objective is to convert this script step by step from Unity to Playmaker so the thing is working like that you will have uh, you will need uh, a player what the fuck is happening right here you will need a player player object player prefab here this player prefab uh, should have a network transform to update any transform um, to through the net and also network identity but because um, player controller script bullet bullet this one is a script but because uh, it is uh, converted into playmaker uh, it needs a playmaker unit uh, script and playmaker fixed update also uh, this uh, mesh rendered is empty because my transform is uh, just an empty can object but uh, I have uh, an error message but it's uh, gone because uh, of this and uh, so when my player is done here it's uh, just uh, empty game object plus uh, cube plus another cube and uh, uh, transform to get uh, the spawn position of the bullet. So uh, once it is done, I have just a prefab for the bullet, and the objective is to understand how it works in the script. So the script is calling if the if it is not local player just return it is done here it is not local player so return return is here and is if it's uh, uh, not local it's enemy so i just change the metal the material color and that's all for the enemy after that if it's the local player so you can continue read the script here do so uh, variable x and z for horizontal and uh, vertical here change the material color to blue to clearly see on the screen uh, which one is the local player and translate and rotate this is all this part and this part here is common fire if you just push on space get key down here space uh, send the command fire off command fire is using a command event so uh, this finish head is not used every every time because this event here command fire is a global event so it is directly sent from here to here and create a bullet uh, and um, and set its velocity to six, and it move and uh, wait for the next order. So why I am using a finished here? It's because uh, if you don't use it uh, on the client side, it will be stuck and wait for for eternity here. And. Uh, and uh, it doesn't matter if uh, if you had this and uh, it's uh, exit before finished so okay it works like that for the client side and 
if I just test here the host and client, maybe I can create another one, uh, just the first, first part here. I have my local player here, I have my local player here, I have also my local player here. So on this client, client is sending his bullet to the host, host is not sending back the, the bullet to the other client. If I do this here, it's the same, but it works for the translate and move. So I don't understand why it doesn't work for the bullet. And the host is not sending anything uh, to the other part. So I'm just uh, lost uh, uh, about this point. I don't get the point here. Yeah. On the host, you have the command fire, send to create bullet, create bullet, and uh, it creates bullet here. But uh, you don't have anything uh, anywhere. So this is uh, the point where I would like uh, some help. If someone uh, can uh, help uh, <laughs> about this point, this uh, would be greatly appreciated. So thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.